Hi tubers. Um, out walking. I'm uh, sort of uh, made a blooper. Um, left my. Uh, I plan to use my uh, kerosene burner today because it's cold. And. Uh, I forgot it at home, along with my tea. <laughs> uh, so I will have to make a fire. Uh, and, uh, I also forgot my water. <laughs> uh, but I have my uh, trusty kettle. So, uh, either I have to find some running water. Or... Uh, melt some snow. I hope I don't have to do that because uh, the snow that this is here is very old and I have a very small kettle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, I don't have uh, anything to drink tea from, but I got an Algerian uh, camel back bottle so. And I finished it, the content of that. Or maybe I could just heat uh, that up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so I'm just gonna go into the forest and find a place to set up camp for a few hours. Uh, and uh, around when it starts to get dark, around 2, 3. I have to go and uh, pick up the wife. She's working not far from here. So let's go. Well, it's around 11 o'clock and uh, still no sun. over a creek. Uh, it's frozen over solid. <laughs> Look at all these animal tracks crisscrossing it. Fresh though. I think I'll follow it for a while. The grass. It's just uh, ice, really. You can see how hard it is. I don't think through at all. Again, it's been uh, made uh, before uh, before yesterday. Can you hear that? 
It's running water under this ice. Here's why I don't want to uh, take snow to melt, really. Oh, uh, this old snow is full of this crap. It's uh, uh, from the trees. So when I melt snow, I want to melt fresh snow. Well, maybe I can use the top layer that has been falling over the last few days. Well, this is fresh hair tracks. Um, uh, going that way are fairly fresh. Sometime after uh, yesterday afternoon. I know that because we had a slight dusting of snow yesterday and these are not uh, covered by those or by that. But I'm continuing that way. Found a route through the spruce plantation here. So just gonna keep going that way. <laughs> Tracks from uh, here. <laughs> well, still in the in, uh, in some of the spruce, and uh, technically, these spruce plantations, uh, uh, the right to roam law does not apply here. So, uh, technically I'm trespassing, but uh, the law also says that in the winter time uh, you have the right to uh, pass over agricultural land, which is which a spruce plantation is. So. I'm uh, allowed to walk around in here, not allowed to hunt, oh, sorry, <laughs> not allowed to, to set up camp. So, uh, but a few meters that way, and I'm in birch country again, which means wild forest, which means I can stay for two days if I want to, in any area I want, I want to. So. Uh, so that's what uh, I'm gonna do for a few hours once I find a place to camp. I <laughs> think I found a place to be. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see the sun today, but I don't think so. I think uh, oh, it's over the horizon at sea level. But uh, it's in the south. And uh, I got uh, the whole island between me and the south, so uh, it's probably not going to rise above the hills, but we'll see. Just gonna head up there and find a spot. And as luck could have it right where I'm standing, there's uh, a lot of tinder. Could be wet though, we had uh, freezing rain for a couple of days. Just a few showers, but uh, everything is really frozen and wet. Just look at that. <laughs> I think I may have found the treasure. The top of this hill is uh, all surrounded by <coughs> a spruce plantation. There are a number of widow makers around. Uh, they must have been taken down by a storm sometime. 
but there is plenty of firewood uh, plenty of good places to sit then it's not far from uh, where I parked the car and because of the spruce plantation nobody comes here except a lot of animals because there's animal tracks mostly here rabbit and uh, fox sorry no uh, <laughs> no rabbit of course hare and fox and uh, moose so I'm gonna set up camp here for the day see if the sun will rise above that so I'm not gonna go in detail how I make a fire that's been done to that um, but you see here the, <laughs> this juniper dead standing it's all covered with frost and there's probably some moisture inside but it burns good so I got, so I got uh, some uh, dry spruce branches and some more spruce wood I need to chop up and uh, next you'll see I'll probably have a fire going Whew. there's my uh, little cooking fire built and uh, I'm not going to mess about. I'm, uh, just going to uh, get that thing started. The Sippo. So, uh, one of the things I want to do today is to test the uh, frying pan from uh, Eagle Products that I got uh, for Christmas. So, here it is. <laughs> uh, non stick, and it's made for aluminium, coated aluminium. And it's made to uh, be used over a fire. 
and one of the good things about it is that uh, the fire is big and you fail to burn your fingers you can just put a stick into the <laughs> and uh, you have a good way to retrieve your uh, frying pan. The fire is going good now. So I'm just gonna wait for that to uh, go down a little bit. Oh, frying pan is working. Um, uh, just got some f fish cakes on there. Gonna put them on some bread and eat. So, and up there, just on the top. Don't know if you can see it. The sun is shining. So I would see the sun if I was there, but I'm not. <laughs> oh. I was food. What to do now for two hours? Well, the sun didn't come. It's over on the. It's shining on the mountains of the mainland over there in the distance. Don't know if you can see it, but uh, it didn't rise over that hill. It was promising there, but uh, nope. Well, I have a plan for the weekend, so we'll see them. Oh, I think I'm gonna head down to the car again. This is where my cooking fire was. And I uh, used a couple of layers of uh, dead rotten uh, wet wood to insulate uh, from, the ground, from the ice. So it wouldn't melt down, and uh, and I, on purpose, I put the fire um, there instead of over there where it's um, the ground is uh, exposed, and uh, because this would be a 15 minute, 20 minute cooking fire and uh, then just let it burn down, dose it out uh, and, uh, and uh, just spread the leftovers out and, uh, and then when summer comes there will be no trace of me ever being here really uh, and the frying pan Oh, now it's black, <laughs> like a proper campfire frying pan should be, <laughs> happy with it, so uh, that's coming on uh, future uh, trips. things about uh, the Eagle Products frying pan is the collapsible handle and I can use the space under there to uh, store some food um, and it comes in this uh, bag 
so that when you put it away into your backpack your backpack doesn't get all sooty and dirty There is so little snow this year, and uh, we haven't had any snowfalls really since November. So. And uh, so what I'm, I'm walking on is actually that snow. It's been raining a lot. Well, there's an item I should probably leave in the car. Uh, 